In this video, I'm gonna go over everything that you need to know in regards to uploading a PDF to Holo Custom. I'm gonna go over the three most common error messages that are received when uploading the PDF, and then the three most common questions that we receive after uploading the PDF. So I'm gonna include timestamps for all of the questions in the description below in case you wanna to jump to any specific question. But starting from the very top, the most common error message that is received is upload failed. File size exceeds 25 megabyte limit. What does this mean and what do we do next? So if you're trying to upload a PDF into Hello Custom, you get an error message in the bottom right corner that says that the file is too large, that it exceeds our 25 megabyte limit. This doesn't mean that you have to make the pixel size smaller, make the graphics smaller and less quality to work with Hello Custom. What this means is there's probably an SVG or clip art inside of your design that is too large in file size, that we need to make the file size of that element smaller, re-upload it back into our design, then re-download as PDF, the file size will be a lot smaller and it will work with Hello Custom, keeping the pixel size, keeping the quality of the print. So to reduce the file size of an SVG or a clip art, what we'll do is we'll upload this um, element into an image compressor. So to do that, we will re-download the element that we uploaded into our design. Next, you can go to Google and search image compressor. Imagecompressor.com is a good one. And then we're gonna upload that file here. And what this is doing is, is compressing the file size to make it a smaller file size. All right, perfect. So as you can see, it reduced the size of this file by 67%. We'll go ahead and click on download. And then we will re-upload this back into our Canva design. And then you can go ahead and drag in this compressed element back into your design. And as you can see, the quality looks the exact same. The pixel size is the exact same. And now we can download this new file as a PDF. So download, PDF print, RGB color profile, download. And this should be less than 25 megabytes when you upload this PDF into Hello Custom. All right, so moving on to the next error message, something went wrong while uploading the file. In most cases, this has to do with connectivity. The internet connection at that point in time is just not strong enough to convert the file back to an editable template. So in most cases, simply just waiting one hour, coming back, trying again, will solve the problem. I would say in about 5% of the cases, the PDF is actually the issue. So I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to test whether or not it's the internet or to test if it's the PDF. So to test whether or not it is the PDF or the internet connection, you can upload another PDF. For example, you can create a super simple design, maybe 2000 by 2000 pixels. You can upload a single line of text, maybe just Steven. Download this as a PDF and try uploading this to Hello Custom. If you're getting the same error message on the super simple design, it's probably connectivity. If this one uploads and the other one did not, then it's probably the PDF. In the case where it is the PDF, can you email the PDF to support at hellocustom.io where we can debug what the issue is and help you further. So moving on to the next most common error message when uploading a PDF to Hello Custom is we are not able to convert Kittle PDFs to editable templates. So if you are specifically using Kittle to create your designs instead of Canva, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Kittle, they flatten their PDFs upon download. Therefore, Hello Custom is not able to convert it back to an editable template. Therefore, we just do not allow Kittle PDFs instead of our system. You can still go the PNG route where you use Kittle, download as PNG without the personalization, upload that into our system and add the personalization text from inside of our editor. So that is a common error message if you use Kittle. If you do not use Kittle, this is not a problem. All right, so moving on to the most common questions asked once the PDF is uploaded into Hello Custom. And one of those is, why can't I tag my text element? So if you upload a PDF into Hello Custom and you go to tag a text element, and you receive the following error message that only text elements can be tagged. What this means is that this text element was converted to an image. So when you tag a text element, Hello Custom needs to know the font to be able to personalize all of the characters for every name used. Hello Custom needs to also be able to replicate the style and the effect. So if a text element uses a style or effect that Hello Custom cannot replicate when personalizing your graphic, it converts it to an image, therefore it cannot be tagged. The only style and effects that Hello Custom can replicate right now, let me click onto a text element, is outline, so you can do outline. It is transparency, letter spacing, line height, drop shadow, and curve. 
So if you do any effects outside of what we allow uh, as of right now, it will get converted to an image. So when creating your designs, it is helpful to know that the only effects that we allow right now is shadow and outline. And any effects outside of this will not allow that text element to be tagged. And by removing them, re-downloading as a PDF, uploading back into Hello Custom will allow it to be converted to a text element for being tagged. All right, so moving on to the next most common question is, why was my PDF not converted to an editable template? So if you upload your PDF into Hello Custom and it is not converted back to an editable template, as you can see that none of these elements are clickable, this means that the PDF was flattened when exported as a PDF. So in your design software, if you are able to keep the layers and not rasterize the file, that helps. If you are using Photoshop and you are getting the same issue and you are keeping the layers, some users are having success with downloading the PSD file, uploading that into Adobe Illustrator, and then downloading as PDF from Adobe Illustrator. If you are using a design software where you do not have controls over the export of PDF, and it is uploading it as a flat file, this is very similar to Kittle, where some design softwares, they just flatten the PDFs by default, Therefore, it is just not compatible with Hello Custom for the PDF to edible template feature. Again, you can still use the PNG option where you download as PNG without the personalization text elements and add those text elements back to your design inside of Hello Custom. You can click onto the text element here, add a text element, and then restylize it back inside of our editor where this can then be dynamically tagged and personalized. And moving on to the last question is, why is an image removed when I make the background transparent? So a common step before publishing a template is to make the background transparent. So that way this white box does not print onto the product. To make the background transparent, we'll click on background and transparent. When you make the background transparent, if part of the design is removed, what this means is that that image layer was set as the background layer and therefore it was removed in order to make the background transparent. So if you make that layer not the background layer, that should solve the problem. If you are using Canva, a common solution that we found is if we pretend that this gray box here is the image layer that's getting removed, if you don't make the image the full height and width of the canvas, for example, you make just a little bit of a gap between the height of the design, it disconnects it from the background and then therefore will not be removed when making the background transparent. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, please reach out to support at hellocustom.io.